Oh boy. I'm excited. I love season one of Promised Neverland. It had everything I wanted from it anyway, but it was only the start of what could be an amazing show. And now we have season two coming out in a couple weeks to show us what happens next to these kids. So I thought it'd be fun to just talk about why I'm excited and also a little bit worried. I've done this for a lot of other season twos, and I think it's just interesting to take a snapshot of my thoughts before the season airs and then see how I feel afterwards. There will be spoilers here for season one, obviously, but uh, nothing of season two. And please do not spoil season two in the comments or anything past season one for the manga because I'm an anime only viewer. I'm also not going to mention specifics from the new trailer because I feel that that might have some spoilers, though I will mention like a couple of broad feelings I have about it. Though do let me know if you want more of a detailed trailer reaction though. Actually that does sound like fun. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or after this video. Anyway, the first thing I'm excited about is just seeing more of the world. Season 1 focused just on the orphanage, and there's so much we don't know about the world outside. Like, do demons control the world? Is there still conflict between demons and humans on the outside? Do the humans know about the farms? Are they in league with the demons? Like, in exchange for peace, they're letting the demons farm these kids and have them be killed as a, so they don't go after other kids on the outside. Actually, that would be really interesting. We get into some of the thematics uh, message of the show, too. Kind of, though I feel like that's kind of like too obvious. I don't know. And I'm also curious, just like, what is the society of the demons like? I'd love to get into the history of the world and how we got to the point that we see here. I feel like this is something that none of the characters we've seen so far know. Maybe Grandma, but like not Isabella for sure, because seems like she's very limited in her knowledge of the outside, just like she knows the truth about the farm, but that feels like about it. And what are the demons anyway? Where do they come from? Are they aliens, mutated humans, some sort of magic beings? Something else entirely? Season 1 gave us many questions, but very few answers. Though I get the feeling it'll be a while till we get all the answers, but I hope we start to get a few. Though not knowing is a lot of the fun. It's the whole journey from not knowing to knowing a little to knowing everything is probably one of my favorite experiences when I experience a story. So I'm excited to experience that journey here. But as with all shows that are built on mystery, there's a risk that it won't work out. For now, the driving force and make me interested is not knowing and wanting to know. But this could fall apart if the answers we're given just don't make sense or they feel too predictable or a lot of other things could go wrong. But I'm hoping they don't. I don't know about this one. Because they did an amazing job in season one setting up the story. But just because he set it up well does not mean that they can necessarily pull it all off. So we will see. <laughs> and I have weird Discord messages. But yes, another thing I'm excited to see is more direct conflict between the kids and the demons. And see, Tactics wants to give me a traffic cone for Christmas. Alright, season one was basically the kids against Isabella. But I'm interested to see what will happen when the kids have to face the demons. I think the most exciting part of the conflict will be that it can't be one where the kids fight with physical force. They're kids, and the demons are demons. They can't win in a physical fight. So instead, they'll have to outsmart the demons. And to me, that's much more interesting than like punching your enemy in the face to win. So how will the kids do it? That's what I really want to see. And I think this will make up for not having the mental battle anymore between the kids and Isabella. It'll now be the kids against the whole demon society or whatever they're facing. It won't be, be quite the same as a sort of like one-on-one -on -one conflict, but that's okay. It'll be something different. They do hope we get more of Isabella because she's too good of a character not to get more of. I'm also interested to see more of the horror and suspense elements with the struggle against the demons. Season 1 was incredible here with all the tension, though not much like pure horror, just enough where it worked. And I hope we get the same type of feeling. I definitely got that from the trailer with them draining from some demons in the one part, so yeah, that will be exciting. And I just want to see them struggle and explore how the kids keep fighting when they are so outmatched. Though I don't know how dark I want it to get, because like I don't want it to feel like all the characters have plot armor but I also don't want it to be like super dark and depressing. I like my dark stories to have some degree of hope to them. So it will be interesting how they handle the whole tone of how they're going to go with this. I'm also getting a lot of Attack on Titan vibes here, which is great. In fact, I've said it before, but I feel like Promised Neverland is the type of show I wanted Attack on Titan to be. 
Not that Titan isn't great, it is an amazing show, but it went in a different direction than I thought it would at first. While Promise Neverland is much more keeping to the original promise of the concept. So that is something I am excited to see, like a full story that keeps to the conflict or and keeps to the concept of the kids not having any superpowers, but struggling against super powerful demons. Very exciting, I hope. Though my last worry is that just like it won't live up to the introduction. Like I mentioned this before, but the introduction is good. But I feel like for a show like this, the introduction is the easy part. It was done well, but they had a formula in place that they just had to follow. They had to get the kids the knowledge about what was going on. They have to escape, have some conflict between Isabella and the kids, like trying to outsmart each other. And that's basically all they needed. But when they're going into the unknown, they don't have a set path to take, so it could easily fall apart. I hope not, but I've been let down by shows before. So yeah, tell me why you're excited or worried with season two, and let me know if you want the thoughts on the new trailer too. I kind of really want to do that. I will make sure to make plenty of wild guesses, which should be fun. Also, I will be doing a weekly podcast like I did last season with my friend C-Tactic, where we'll talk about the where we'll talk about each episode and our thoughts and our wild guesses, and hopefully we'll be right at least once. Probably not, but we can try. So yes, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.